Welcome back. Today on InDesign Tips, we're going to take a look at creating and applying character styles. Also, we'll take a look at the ability to nest styles, character styles, into paragraph styles and see how that works. In the previous exercise, we looked at doing paragraph styles. We allowed those to be applied to an entire paragraph. Today, though, character styles give us the ability to apply a style to selected text. What I mean by that is we're going to develop a style here called bold. And whenever I want some text that has a bold attribute, I'm just going to apply that style. Now, character styles for me are like areas of emphasis. Maybe I want to apply a certain color, a certain size to some selected characters. So really, it's just some small attributes that are repeated throughout a document. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a character style based upon the attribute of bold. So I'm going to come over here and do it kind of the long way. I'm going to highlight Urban Oasis Garden here. And I'm going to come over to my Properties panel. And I'm just going to come over to my Character Minion Pro. Move it from Regular to Bold. This is my example. So I'm going to use this selected text as my example to base my Character Style attributes on. On the Character Styles panel, I'm going to go to the upper right and I'm going to go to the pop-out menu and I'm going to pick New Character Style. We're going to give this some fantastic name like B-O-L-D, Bold. I'm going to give it a keyboard shortcut. I'm going to go Command on my Mac. I'm going to go Number 1 on my Numeric Keypad. The reason I'm using the Numeric Keypad numbers is because most of the keys on the main part of the keyboard already have maybe a shortcut key assigned to them. On the numeric keypad, those numbers are probably not assigned to any shortcuts. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to see here in style settings that the style contains bold. That's the only attribute. I'm going to apply this bold character style to this text. Boom. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to highlight Urban Oasis Gardens. I'm going to come over here and click Bold in my character style, and it applies it. There's really nothing to it. Now, let me show you something here. I'm going to come up here in the middle of Variety. I'm going to come through Vegetables a little bit. I'm going to click and apply the character style, Bold. Notice when I deselect that, it only applied the character style to the selected characters. Remember a paragraph style? How it applied to the whole paragraph even if you just had the blinking cursor in part of it? Character styles are only applied in this case to selected characters. Now we're going to do something a little bit different in a few minutes but for right now it's only the selected characters. Now Let's say I want to change or modify my character style called Bold. I can go over to the Character panel. I can double click on the name of the character style. I can come in here and I have different options on the left to modify this. So let's say I want to come over here and I want to change it not only to Bold, but I want to make it Red Tomato Color. Now, I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to preview this. So you can see every place I have already applied the bold character style, it has now added the attribute of this red tomato color. So I can add attributes or take them away from the definition of this character style called bold. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make the text black. So you know that you can come in and modify those styles. I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go to a different part of my document. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to look at some pages here. 
in my document. In fact, I'm going to come over to the Pages panel. I'm going to double click on page four. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make a couple of character styles within these seed descriptions. So up here under beans, I have green and lima and wax. What I would like to do is I would like to take green here. This is the name of the vegetable. And I would like to make this have a certain look. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to come over. I'm going to make it so it's bold. Make it so it's bold. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color of it, the fill, to let's say green medium. So now what I've got to do is I'm going to come over on my character styles panel and I'm going to pop out the menu. I'm going to make a new character style. And I'm going to name this vegetable name. The bold is going to be applied and the color is green medium. And I'm going to go ahead and apply it to the selection. I'm not going to use a shortcut because I'm going to embed or nest this character style within the paragraph style I'm going to use for the rest of the text. I'm going to click OK. The next thing over here is I have a variety of the green bean and it's called Black Valentine. Black Valentine. And what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to highlight Black Valentine. And I'm going to go over here. I'm going to say I want to make it a fill color of green brightest. And I'm going to change the character member to italic. And that's all I want. So let's make another character style. And we're going to name this Variety. We see the description is italic using a fill color of green brightest and it's applying to this selection. I'm going to click OK. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click in this paragraph down here. And I'm in this green extra early refugee. And I want to see if there's a paragraph style applied to this. So I'm going to come over to my paragraph styles panel. And I notice I have a paragraph style already applied called catalog body. If I click in any of these descriptions, paragraph style has already been applied called catalog body. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cursor in this second one here and I'm going to nest the two character styles inside of the paragraph style called catalog body. And when I apply the catalog body style in a few minutes, it will go ahead and apply the paragraph style to the whole paragraph and then it will go back and it will apply the other two nested character styles to certain parts of the paragraph automatically. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my zoom tool. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on this. I'm going to hold my space bar. Whoops, undo option spacebar or alt spacebar. Move this over here so you can see it very clearly. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. How do I nest the character styles inside of catalog body? I'm going to double click on the paragraph style called catalog body. I'm going to move this over to the side here a little bit. Style name catalog body. Here's the important step. On the left hand side, about halfway down, is a listing for drop caps and nested styles. We want to click on nested styles. In the middle of this dialog box, it starts to talk about 
nested styles. So here's what I'd like to do. I would like to apply a, a character style to the first part of this paragraph. In fact, it looks like this is a happens to be a single word called green and there's a colon after it. Remember this colon. Over here it says to make a new nested style. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click the button. This gives me a drop-down list of all of my existing character styles. Remember, we just made the two new ones, variety and vegetable name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say apply the character style called vegetable name. And I'm going to say InDesign, I want you to apply this. And over here, here's a controller I'll call it. Notice this doesn't look like it has a drop down menu. Don't be fooled. When I click on it, it says the word through, but it gives me a drop down menu. There's one called up to, through, and up to. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set this up so it applies the vegetable name character style through the first colon. So this colon is going to act like a stop sign and stop the character style vegetable name from being applied beyond the colon. So through one, you can click on here, notice you can change that. So I can have it go through a number of words. Well, what else is there? Ah, they're hiding things on us. Through the first sentence, a certain number of characters, letters, digits, all these other things. In our case, we would like the character style vegetable name applied through the first or one colon but I don't see colon here but here's the secret sauce up here where it says words it appears to be highlighted which means I can probably delete and type in a colon now when I click off of this Notice over here in the document, it says Lima, colon, and it is in that green. It didn't continue on. It stopped right here, right here. So this allows me to apply this paragraph style called Catalog Body, and then come back, apply the character style called Vegetable Name through the first colon. So that's my stop sign. Now let's do the next one. I want to apply the character style called variety through the name of the variety of this seed. In this case extra early refugee. Now notice there's a period. So I'm going to consider this a sentence because it ends in a period. So here we go. I'm going to add another new nested style. It gives me the drop down list and I'm going to pick variety. Through the first words? No, I think I want it through the first what's the period mean? A sentence? through the first sentence and click off. Notice how I have the first character style applied through the first colon, vegetable name. Then the next character style starts up and is applied immediately after the first one where I have the variety character style applied through the sentence. 
So no matter how many words are in this sentence, when it finds the end of the sentence marker, in this case a period, it knows that's the end of a sentence. So think about this if you have a list of names and you want to have uh, maybe the name look a certain way. And then after that you have maybe a title of that person. After that maybe you have their email. After that you have a description of what they do. So you can go in here and practice using these character styles and have them applied to a variety of things up to a certain point, through a certain point, through these sentences, through the number of characters. So it's a little bit of a challenge to figure out which one of these to use, but once you figure it out, it's great. Like if you have products and you have a SKU number, it's always a certain number of digits. Then say, apply a character style of bold through eight digits. So just know there's lots of ways I can control how a character style is being applied. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click OK. Now notice that because all of these seed descriptions already had the paragraph style called catalog body applied, they all are reflecting the nested character styles that have been developed. So you may have to go through this again. You may even have to sit down with the document that you want to build of these nested styles in there and figure out what parts that you want to have a character style applied to figure out is it based upon the character style is it going to be applied through a certain number of characters is it going to be applied up to a certain attribute like a colon an exclamation point a comma a dash different things like this but this makes it very easy to format up pages or paragraphs in my document with these nested styles. I don't go in there and apply a paragraph style, go back and select some text and make it this, and go back and select another little piece of it and change this. I can nest those styles into a paragraph style in this case and have them applied. Okay, I just want to introduce you to these. I don't think you're going to be able to just walk away from this video and be able to do it, but I want you to be aware of these nested styles. They are very, very powerful. Thank you again and have a good day.